Hi, I'm Casey from the DIY Playbook, and right now we're in my main bathroom. This bathroom has seen better days. It's a little bit outdated, a little bit 90s, and not exactly my style. So, I'm going to start with an easy DIY project by refreshing the tile floors in here. Rust-Oleum Home is a paint product where you can paint right over your outdated tile floors and make them look new again. So I'm gonna take you through the step-by-step -step for this easy DIY project. Let's get started. I'm already familiar with this product because I stenciled the tile in our guest bathroom a few months ago. It turned out so good and still looks perfect. Not one scratch on it. The floor in our main bathroom is tile. But this product can be used over vinyl, wood, concrete, laminate, and linoleum. One gallon of the Rust-Oleum Home covers 400 square feet, and a quart covers up to 100 square feet. Keep in mind you may have to do two coats of your base color. Just like any painting project, it's all about the prep. You want to clean your floor really well. Rust-Oleum recommends using Cred Cutter Cleaner Degreaser. Or, if you buy the handy kit, it comes with a small bottle of cleaner, along with the base coat and top coat. I vacuum up any dust and then use a rag and crud cutter to clean the floors. There's no need to sand or prime. All you have to do is clean. Next, I use painter's tape to protect the toilet walls and vanity. If there's any caulk around your tub or toilet, be sure to remove it before getting started. It's finally time to paint. So, one of the hardest parts was figuring out what color to do because Rust-Oleum Home has over 30 colors. So I decided to go with a dark color as my base. I'm using charcoal gray, and then my stencil is gonna be a light color, steam gray, that looks almost like a white. I pour my paint and get started trimming the edges. You'll want to use a high quality brush so you don't lose any bristles in your wet paint. Start at one side of the room and work your way out the door, working in small sections. For a majority of the tile, I use a 3 8 inch nap roller to roll the charcoal gray right on there. This paint is great because it doesn't have a strong odor at all. Okay, are you ready for the most important part of this project? You must wait six hours before applying a second coat. Six hours. Be sure to wear socks when you walk on your floor. It's a bit tacky until you apply that top coat. I apply my second coat after those six hours are up. So it's day two of my painting project. The base coat in that charcoal gray color is all dry and now I'm ready to stencil. So I went with this stencil and I actually bought a few of them. It's kind of nice to have a few extra so you can cut them for those tiles on the sides or around the toilet area. Before I get started stenciling, I'm going to use a tack cloth to wipe the floor to make sure all of the dust is gone. I use painter's tape to keep my stencil in place while I roll with a 3 8 inch nap roller. The key is to use a very small amount of paint. I get the roller in the paint and then load off as much as possible before transferring to the floor. Also keep an extra paint tray or piece of cardboard handy. You can rest your stencil on there as you move around and be sure to wipe off the back. I do all of my full tiles first before working on the edges of the room. For the smaller tiles, I cut the stencil to size and use a stencil brush for the tight corners. Around the toilet is the trickiest, but just do your best. If you make any mistakes, you can always touch up with a small artist brush at the end. I let my floor dry for two hours and then it's time for the last step, the top coat. This keeps your floor protected from scratches. You only need one coat, but you can do two if you want extra protection. I'm going with the matte sheen and I trim it and roll it just like the base coat. For this, it's very important that you use a 1 4th inch nap roller. It's been 24 hours since I painted that top coat and the floors in here are done. They look incredible. Now I'm going to wait three days before putting anything heavy on the ground and seven days before cleaning it. But the best part is you can use your regular cleaners, just nothing too abrasive. Now, if over time I find that a little area needs touching up, I can paint right over it with that base coat, put the top coat over again, and we're good to go. This project was so easy, and it's all thanks to the Rust-Oleum Home Floor Coating. 
This bathroom looks incredible, and now I kind of want to do some more DIY projects in here. I'm thinking maybe I'll paint the vanity next. For more great DIY projects, be sure to head to my blog, thediyplaybook.com.